fresh rockfish from the Chesapeake Bay. Let me show you two of my favorite ways of preparing, so stay tuned. As you saw in the intro, I did a little fishing and I went rock fishing down in Maryland, down on the Chesapeake. And uh, well, I thought what I'd do today is take some of these nice rockfish fillets and uh, show you a couple ideas of what you can do with rockfish. The first dish I'm going to make is crab stuffed rockfish. Then the second dish is going to be more of an Italian roasted uh, rockfish, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. So, first thing, let's go ahead and get the stuffing out of the way. And really all that is is my crab cake um, stuffing. I'm just going to make a little bit more of the imperial sauce than I normally do. And so let's get started on that. So very simple. What we're going to do is take one egg, crack it in here. I don't get any shells in there. One egg. We're going to whisk that up. We're going to add about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. One, two, three. Give about a tablespoon, or I'm sorry, two teaspoons of Old Bay. We're going to go in with some parsley, about a tablespoon. Oh, forgot my mustard. Probably about a, a teaspoon of mustard. And I'm going to go ahead and whisk that up. There you go. And that's our imperial sauce. Now, to that, I'm going to get this out of the way a little bit. I'm going to go in with a pound of crab meat. Now, I'm not going to use the entire amount today because I'm only going to be making one portion. So I'm, I'm going to end up making crab cakes with the rest of this. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to mix this up and not make a mess. And I've used jumbo lump crab meat for this. And as you can see, this looks really good. I could just make crab cakes out of this, but we're going to make it better. We're going to stuff some nice fresh rockfish with our crab and uh, it's going to be luscious. All right, so we'll get this out of the way. Okay, now on to our fish. Now what I like to do, I kind of like to make a little boat. So what I'm going to do, and I'm actually going to remove a portion of this fillet. And I'm going to hold on to this fillet because what I'm going to do probably later on in the week is make some uh, rockfish tacos with that. And I'm going to go ahead and Take that end off, and now I'm going to go ahead and cut right down through the middle and make myself a nice little boat. To prep our dish, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of butter in the bottom. Get my rockfish fillet in here. All right, now, all we're going to do now is take our stuffing and liberally fill this up with our crab meat filling. And there you go. Set this to the side. Now we're not going to stop there. What I'm going to do now is just give it a little sprinkling of Old Bay on the top. Okay, now to finish it off, let's take a little bit of butter and drizzle it on the top and a little bit on the sides of the filet. And there you go. Now, I forgot to mention, I'm actually going to cook this in my air fryer. So we're making air fried baked stuffed rockfish. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to set this for our air fryer. We're going to set this for 380 degrees. And we're going to set our time for 13 minutes. 
And I'm gonna let that go ahead and heat up. Now, while that's heating up, I'm gonna set this to the side, and now we're gonna get onto our Italian style baked rockfish. So, get my uh, container or my vessel set up here. Going with a little bit of butter on the bottom. Spread that out a little bit. I'm going to take my rockfish fillet. And I'm going to portion this out. Just about like that. That's a nice portion there, about four ounces. Now I have all this awesome rockfish that I'm going to make tacos with. So now I'm going to go in here, place the rockfish in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and add some tomatoes on the top. If I can get my fingers to work. Give it a little bit of sprinkling of Italian seasoning. Now, I have some breadcrumbs, my Italian breadcrumbs, some panko Italian breadcrumbs that I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a little butter in and a little bit of garlic. So I have some garlic here I'm going to add into this. And probably about a teaspoon of butter. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Oh man, this is going to be good. Give us a nice little crust on the top of this. Very simple. Almost kind of like a scampi. And there we go. Okay. Now we're going to go in. A little more butter on the top. A very, very simple recipe. And we're ready to add our food. So the first entree we're putting in is the baked stuffed rockfish. Don't burn my hand again. All right, we'll set that and forget it. We have this one at the ready. I wish it was a little bit bigger. I could put both in there, but ah, no worries. We'll get this one done and we'll throw this in because this is actually not going to have to cook as long. So we'll let that cook. I'll clean up a little bit and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and uh, the time was up. I did attempt. We're a little bit shy on the temp, so I gave it an extra two minutes. So while we're finishing it off here, I just wanted to let you know that if you didn't notice, I had some Worcestershire sauce over here. Well, I forgot to put it into my uh, Imperial sauce. End of the world, no, things happen. But if you were to add a Worcestershire sauce, you would go ahead and add a teaspoon to the Imperial uh, sauce mixture there. Um, so wow, while you still have me, Let's go ahead and do my shout out. This episode shout out is to all you newly selected chief petty officers out there or chief selects and uh, good luck for your uh, chief's chief training season. And my challenge to you is you need to find me. Let's see how resourceful you are and see how many can find me so I can sign off on your book. Now, one last bit of business. If you didn't want to cook this in the air fryer, you can easily cook it, bake it in your oven, cook, bake, bake it in your oven, 385 degrees, 400, about 16 minutes, 16 to 18 minutes, if you had more than one or, or two uh, portions that you wanted to cook, again, you could easily bake it in your oven. You don't need to have an air fryer. Um, I just like playing with mine and see what I can cook in it, especially when I'm only cooking for one or two. So there's all the business out of the way. Hey, one more piece of business. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, share, and hit the like button. So when you hit that like button, we're telling YouTube that we want to see more. Hey, it's time to go here. Um, we're telling YouTube that uh, we want to see more of my videos. So please hit the like button. Like, 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 like. Hit it multiple times. I don't think you can do that. All right, we're ready. So let's pull this out. <laughs> it's looking fantastic. And let it cool down because I'm not going to burn my face off trying to test this. And 
look at that. She's looking fantastic. So we're going to put this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this dish off, my Italian style rockfish. Not that they eat rockfish in Italy, but I'm making it Italian style. We're going to put a little bit more butter on here, on the top and around the sides. Just a little, just a little drizzle. And then I'm going to, for color, sprinkle a little bit of paprika on the top. There she goes. Into my air fryer. And we're going to go straight from here. Um, we'll just get this turned on. Get it set for air fryer. Set the temp for 385. Set the time for 10 minutes. It's not going to take long. We're not stuffing this one. So uh, there we go. We'll let that go. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. Since this is the first time I actually baked fish in my air fryer, it's not going to take 10 minutes. It's only going to take about 2 or 3 minutes. Um, we're at 740 right now remaining, so we're about 3 minutes in. I'm actually going to test it now. We're only looking for 145 or until the, the fish is flaking. And uh, yeah, we're plenty done. So, three minutes in the air fryer. You've got perfectly baked rockfish, Italian style. Now if I can grab this. Let me try this. A little bit easier to grab onto. There we go. Okay, moment of truth. Let's give this a try. And uh, we'll go in with the uh, baked stuffed rockfish first. My crab stuffed rockfish which looks and smells divine. Alrighty. Hmm. A little hot, but oh my God, that is fantastic. The crab, the rockfish, the fresh rockfish. You saw me catching it while you didn't really see me on film catch. I did catch one, but you saw us, me and my buddies catching it. Now, let's go into the Italian style. And uh, wow, <laughs> this is looking good. Get a piece of that uh, tomato there. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fantastic. Nice flavor. Fish is nice and flaky. A little bit of garlic. I didn't they put a lot of garlic in there. And uh, the flavor is just out of this world. And as you can see, got a few little lemon wedges here. So if you wanted to squeeze a little lemon on there, have at it. There you go. You saw just how easy, again, how some of this stuff is easy to make. I mean, it's, it's crazy easy. You gotta try this. You gotta get down to the Chesapeake Bay and catch some rockfish. Well, you can catch it up in New England too. Actually, you can catch rockfish just about anywhere. I think they were catching rockfish. I thought I saw a show on the YouTube. People were out in Arizona in some river catching rockfish. So, or striped bass. So get out there, catch some striped bass. There's two dishes right there that you can make. So, hey, like I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the like button. Most importantly, share. Right over there. Go ahead and punch my logo. That makes it much more easier for you to subscribe. So until next time, thanks and we'll see ya.